Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm out in the woods just doing some rucking with my kit that I've been putting together for winter and been mixing some things around, checking out different ways to pack it and make sure you know it makes sense and I've got the things that I need. But I'm looking at running just a normal hammock. Not the Russian tent hammock I've been running the last couple years off and on, but just a, a normal sling style hammock. And then I've got three different tarps with me that I want to check out flying over the top of it. I've got two different military style tarps, the Ratnik Shelter and the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak. And I also have the AquaQuest Defender tarp, which is a 10 by 10, more camping, hiking, backpacking style tarp. So three very different sized tarps. And we're gonna take a look at those and see what that gives us in terms of a hammock cover. Welcome to Endurance Room. So this is my Savota Yukari L. And I've been working with the limitation of having everything inside except for my water bottle, which is over on the hip with my canteen cup. I like having that there so I can drink as I'm hiking or fill it up as I need to when I'm at a water source. And today I, I strapped the Kelly kettle on the outside. I would prefer to run it on the inside, but I kind of ran out of room because I'm hauling three tarps with me. So up top, We've got our Ratnik shelter. This is about four foot by nine foot. This is a really cool shelter sheet. Here is the Sarma TST Thermal Cloak from Veristelica. It's about seven by seven. And our third tarp is the AquaQuest Defender 10 by 10. Now, ordinarily, I usually run my tarps before I set up the hammock, but today we're gonna do it in reverse. We're going to set this up and then we'll fly the tarps because we're looking at three different ones. So let's fly the hammock. Man, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I haven't run a hammock in a while. <laughs> I tied it off today using a Marlin spike hitch. This is something I picked up from Matt Mercer from Black Hat Bushcraft. Really, really excellent tip. It lets you run a rope rather than the hammock lines. So the rope's gonna be lighter for you. And then using that spike hitch with a bowline on the other end, anchoring it off to the tree. It just lets you anchor your hammock wherever you want on the line, giving you a, a fixed point that is very easy to tie and very easy to untie. Whereas with you know the hammock lines that I've used, they have fixed loops attached to them at different intervals. And this one, you can set it wherever you want. So pretty slick. Thank you, Matt. If you see this, thank you very much. Excellent, excellent tip. All right, we got our hammock up. Let's run the tarps. We'll do the AquaQuest first and then the two military style shelters. I just set up my ridge line. This is a quick deploy ridge line with a bowline in the end. I run it around the tree, drop a toggle through. I've got two prusik loops with a carabiner on each end. And then at the other end, we're secured with a quick release knot two wraps around the tree to tension it down. Easy peasy.
All right, I got four hacks of paracord, four toggles, four stakes. All right, here we are with the AquaQuest and the good old A-frame. We've got coverage for the hammock from end to end, which is perfect. Lots of room underneath for me, my gear, and you know, a nice scenic view of the forest. Awesome. Let's check out the other two tarps, see what we got. All right, up next, Sarma TST Thermal Cloak. About seven foot by seven foot. And this one, we're definitely going to have to run it diagonal. Sarma tarp flying in a diamond. We're pretty close on the coverage, but once again, end to end, looks like we're good. Let's check out what it looks like without that ridge line. <laughs> this might be cool. I just 86 the ridge line altogether and use the carabiner behind the same toggle for our hammock. Cool. Wow. That is really, really warm. Um, getting in the hammock, it did put a little bit of sag in the tarp, so maybe running a ridge line just lower would be a better option because that'll keep the tarp tensioned even if the hammock is is doing stuff. But pretty slick, very very low profile, uh, minimal, easy to set up. The hammock's light. This tarp is pretty light. This tarp has an aluminum coating on the underside that reflects your body heat, and having the shelter set up that close to the hammock it capitalizes on that that function so really cool really warm <laughs> definitely a viable option all right last but not least a ratnik shelter this is about four foot by nine foot part of the charm of the ratnik shelter is built-in guy lines they're situated all around the perimeter of the shelter, making it really convenient to set up whatever you can think of. Here you are with the Ratnik as a flying diamond. It is down close to the hammock, right above the hammock ties giving us a nice tight shelter once again. And here we are on the inside and you can see how the hammock is kind of settled down. So we've got some space under the tarp. It's very warm and this is even improved by the Jervenfell Dukin I've got on as like a top quilt, bottom quilt combo. I'll do a follow up on that, really, really cool. All right, we got a Ratnik shelter up, and we've got it set up as an A-frame. And as you can see, not too bad until the very end. We got a couple inches exposed. So not great, not a deal breaker. I think with a bivy bag on the inside around your sleeping bag, you'd probably be okay. You'd probably be fine. Depends on the weather. Depends on you and your sleeping kit. But honestly, preferably, I would like to have coverage all the way to the end. Let's get inside and see what it's like.
So I just got out of the Ratnik A-frame hammock setup, and I gotta say that was almost as warm, if not as warm, as the Sarma thermal cloak setup we just looked at. So pretty cool, pretty, pretty hot. Right on everybody. I hope you enjoyed our look at our hammock setups with the Ratnik shelter, the AquaQuest Defender, and the Sarma TST thermal cloak. Pretty interesting, very, very different between them. But, you know, as far as modern day military shelter halves go, the Ratnik Shelter is awesome. The Sarma TST Thermal Cloak is awesome. Uh, they have got, they've got a lot of good stuff going for them. Ease of use, flexibility, and warmth being, you know, what comes to mind for me. But as a hammock option, probably not ideal something like a 10 by 10 is probably going to be a better bet just depends on what you're into what you're using it for so i hope you guys are all good if you got any tips or tricks you'd like to share let me know down in the comments i'm all ears all right everybody hope you're having a good one we'll see you soon cheers <laughs>